this is a fun little build I did over the weekend. Um, and why don't you all say hi to Porgbot? Porgbot, say hi. Porgbot is friendly and rather talkative. Um, and let him finish talking. So this is a, a silly build I did over a couple days uh, to take uh, what was this little kind of um, motorized Porg plush um, and turn them into something that was a little more controllable. So, and he keeps talking. Um, so things you can see here, um, I have forward and reverse, I have turn left and right, I have up arms, down arms, and then the arms can go independently of each other. I have head control, which makes him kind of tilt his head a little bit. And then I will skip the, uh, the Porg sounds for now, but I have a little button on the back of the transmitter that um, activates the sound module in him. Um, so this is built using um, a combination of uh, Hobby King uh, 9 gram servos and um, these continuous rotation servos from um, Robot Shop. Um, so these guys, both sets of servos are only, I think they're like you know three or four dollar servos, um, but the continuous rotation ones um, you can adapt to these little wheels that they sell um, so it goes right on the servo output and uh, what this allows you to do is do kind of proportional control in a kind of skid steer sort of robot. Um, so you can set this up. I have it set up on the Elevon mixing. So when I go um, forward, both go forward together. When I go backwards, both go backwards, and then I get differential. Um, so let's let's dissect Porkbot so you can see how he works. Um, okay, you gotta go up flipper. Um, it was, uh, it was an exercise in, in a lot of dremeling and snipping of the plastic um, to get all these bits to fit. But basically I kind of hollowed out the stock version of the toy. Um, and we'll take his back off here in a second. So um, undid the screws here, the, the kind of uh, fuzzy part came off. And then if I open up the back, gingerly, sorry, sorry, Mr. Porg. Um, if I open up the back, you can see um, kind of where I hid all the stuff inside. So you got the little flipper servos. Um, you can see the drive servos down at the bottom. They actually, the, the stock toy has these interesting um, ovoid wheels so that you get this kind of waddling action when he goes. Um, so I, I dremeled those off of the existing drive mechanism and then epoxied them onto the outputs of the servo shafts. Um, and then I, I separated out the little sound module and put it on its own little switch so that um, I can activate it remotely from the transmitter. And then you can see the, the head tilt mechanism there as well. Um, so this was a fun little build. Um, I would like to say no porgs were harmed in the making of this, but uh, you know this guy still seems fairly happy. Um, I actually uh, this this kind of got me back into some you know fun little robot and animatronic work. So I think I'm going to do a um, you know studio scale version of the Porgs because I just I really like those characters um, and I think it'd be pretty cute if he had a mouth that opened up and closed and you know eyes that you know could blink and stuff but this is a fun build um, I'll have another airplane build up shortly um, thanks to all the new subscribers and uh, see you guys around